Who would have thought that an early Christmas gift would be dropped this early with Black Clover Chapter 318 dropping early? To think that Tabata had so much heat planned for the first chapter of next year lets me know that Tabata's about to be cooking early in 2022. Now before we begin, if you're a returning viewer and you haven't already, be sure to turn on notifications so that you can be notified when a new Black Clover video drops. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. I hope you find this channel to your likings. Alright, let's begin. So leaks are out. So let's talk about the panels we got so far, not in any particular order. So here we got a panel of Naruto realizing that shit just got real and he needs to get the fuck up out of there. Although Naruto, he has some manners, so here you see him taking the spade citizens to somewhere safe. Good for him. Next we have Asta, he's going Devil Union again, but this time he only has 4 minutes left. So that lets us know that 1 minute passed after he took down the giant Lucifer worm with the infinity slash. Okay, so Asta's going to treat him just like he treated the ancient demon, Lily of Anama, and that giant worm creature. <laughs> yeah, we all knew that wasn't going to happen. Well, I did. After all, I've been on the Lucifer hype train since forever. I even made a whole video as to why I and everyone should be on the Lucifer hype train. Although that video was referring to Lucifer at 100%, but to do all of this at 50%, that just brings even more hype. I mean, seriously, Lucifer didn't even bother dodging Asta's weak ass attack, he just grabbed it. Then here you have Libe, who finally is talking to Lucifer about killing Lucita. But Lucifer just brushes it off. I mean, he hit, he literally hit Libe with the good old who? Who? Now, Libe, I know he killed your mom from a long time ago, but for Lucifero, it was just Tuesday, my man. Another day, another meaningless death. You really gotta feel for Libe because he's been itching to smoke that Lucifero pack for years. I mean, he's literally spent all that time in Austin's grimoire cursing the devils. Then to add insult to injury, he talked down to Libe for being a magicless scrub. No! Why are you doing this, my guy? Like, come on, Lucifero. Moving on. Now, get a look at this guy, the second gate devil. Like, my man, is is you just watching the brutality take place in 8K Ultra HD? No sense of urgency, my bro? I mean, I can't even blame you if we being honest. Why should he intervene when the Demon King is putting in that work? He might end up eating the dirt just like the other Magic Knight captains. Back to Lucifero, and we get a description that his mere existence is enough to overwhelm people, magic, or even fate. Sounds like this narration is being done by Vanessa, and if it is, I'm surprised she can talk with a mouthful of dirt. In the next panel, you see Lucifero fuming over the sight of Asta and Libe. I really love the expressions that Tabata shows with his characters. And speaking of expressions, hey Asta, you good over there, bro? You look a little shocked. I mean, I can't even blame you, bro. Lucifero's bare hand was enough to restrain you from moving. And here's another interesting detail. When Lucifero touches Asta's sword, from the looks of things, he's investigating Asta's anti-magic. And after further investigation, it would seem that Lucifero finds Asta guilty for being a piece of trash. So Lucifero follows that up by sentencing Asta to the dirt where all the other Magic Knight captains are. And as you can see in the next panel, Lucifero was kind enough to clock Asta with his fist towards the dirt. <laughs> and as you can see in the next panel, Asta is having trouble staying awake after getting clocked by the Lucifist. However, don't look now but the Magic Knight captains are all on their feet. For now, that is. But most importantly, remember in my video last week when I brought up um the Black Clover exhibition panels that showed the captain's panels burnt up? Well, now Jack is here, so that fits the script even more. There's just one person missing, and it's Julius. So my prediction for the next chapter is that this fight is going to mimic the five Kage getting their ass whipped by Madara and Aizen versus the Soul Reaper captains. This will really, this fight here will really be used to showcase Lucifero's superiority even more. So brace yourself. I don't expect him to die, although I do expect them to receive some fatal injuries, rendering them useless for a while. Let me know what you think in the comments. What kind of injuries do you expect the Magic Knight captains to get in this fight? All right, that's it for me. Peace out.